Alrighty guys, hello to everyone. Welcome to the recap show here on the JGN Junior Golf Network. Recapping week one, we're gonna jump right into Wednesday's match. We got the Jacks taking on the Crowns. It was a tight match all the way through, but the Lumberjacks got it, six and a half to five and a half. We'll start with our first match. We got Paxton and Miller taking on Parker and Giovanni. It was a tough match for my little up-and-comers, but they hold up on strong. Paxton and Miller took them to them, getting a 3-0 lead there. Battle of the Ladies. We got the Juggernauts Delaney and Caroline taking on Mary, Michael, and Taylor. Mary, Michael, and Taylor took off to a little slow start, but they kind of found their way, but they did lose the match 2-1. to one. Next up, I had Jackson and Preston taking on JJ and McCon. This was a pretty good one. I believe JJ and McCon uh, got it there early, but I think they ended up actually, yep, they actually uh, brought this one back and halved it. And then we had the Dream Team take it on, and which of the Dream Team is Rob, Brett, and Hayes. That's what they like to be called this year. Take it on Chase and Gunner. This was a pretty good match. And, yep, the Dream Team took it to them, okay? So, those were your matches for the match of the Lumberjacks and the Crowns. Lumberjacks got off to the first win of the season. We'll go. We'll be right back going over against the Panthers and the Express. All right, guys, we're here. And this is what we call this part, keeping up with the golf course, okay? And keeping up with the golf course is trying to always make sure we keep it in the exact same shape we found it, okay? So I just hit my little wedge shot here and I made a divot in the ground, okay? First thing I wanna do is kinda of take the sides of it, kick it back in, flatten it out, and then I'm gonna take my sand that's in my golf cart, put some right there and smooth it out with my feet, okay? So let's make sure we always kinda of take our time keep the golf course the way we found it and doing some things to kind of keep it up and keep our golf course nice and beautiful, okay? So that's keeping up with the course. All right, guys, here we go. Going over the Panthers and Express. So we had a double header there Wednesday. So here we go. We will start off with some of my newcomers. Nicholas Cooper and Hudson taking on Millie and Lee. Uh, this is a good match all the way through for my newbies. Um, they battled it out and both uh, got a, a half a point for each side. Next on, we'll take on Luke, Graham, and Gibson. The three amigos taking on Griff and Tiernan. This was also a good match. Um, some These boys, still a little young, but are playing a lot better. They started off with a half. And in the second point, they got a half, and I think, yep, no. Uh, Griff and Taryn got it there and got a full point there at the end to help their team take it for the Lumberjacks. All right, and then we'll go Kaylin, Destiny, and Celeste. We're taking on Gus, Miles, and Ryder. This was a good match, but I believe for the Crowns, this was one of their more solid matches. They got the point all the way through which was good for them. All right, and which leaves us to the juggernaut match. The brothers, Logan and Hunter, taking on the smack talkers, Jacob and Andrew. Um, but it was the, no, hold on here real quick as I'm checking my notes. The brothers got up to an early league, ended up two up on that first point. Jacob and Andrew came back and got a point up on the next one. But the brothers edged them out there finally to get a two to one point lead right there, which got it to the Panthers who had our most points that night, nine points to the Express three points. Solid start, it was good playing for the first week. Everyone kind of getting back in the rhythm of things. So it was good. We got one more match and we'll be back for Friday's match of the Road Runners and the Cyclones. All right, guys, so we're gonna talk about uh, some of the rules in this segment. We're gonna call this the rules segment. And this week I wanna talk about the embedded ball rule, okay? I have a sand trap here back here. And a lot of times I get players who talk about, hey, my ball plugged in the sand. 
do I get a free drop? No. Remember, a sand trap is a hazard. Okay, we can't ground the club in it and wherever the ball is, that's how we gotta play it. So that's just a rub of the green, bad luck. Now, if we're here on the grass, in a tightly mown fairway area, and the ball is plugged, it's broken the ground, that's the embedded ball rule. Now we get to pick it up, clean it, and place it back in play, okay? So in hazards, sand traps, if the ball is plugged or embedded, tough luck, you gotta keep playing it. But tightly mown fairways, fringe areas, and the ball plugs on those wet days, we can and get a free drop, okay? So that's our rules segment. We'll catch y'all later. All right, guys, we're back for Friday's match of the Roadrunners and the Cyclones. So, this one was a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. The total score doesn't really tell the whole deal, but it was good. The Roadrunners won it eight and a half to three and a half, but let's break it down. So we had Anna and Bella and Ashlyn taking on Daniel and Damon. That match started off with a half, and it was actually a half all the way even to the second point. But then Ashlyn, Bella, and Anna got it there in the last match. So they won that two to one. Great match right there to start off the season. Going into, this was a back and forth match and it was really fun to watch. We had Dane and Sawyer. Taking on Jacob and Easton. This was just back and forth all day. Like I said, it was real fun to watch. Sawyer and Dan got up one up, but Jacob and Easton came back and tied it up again. But Dan and Sawyer got it there, edging it out on the last one. I believe Sawyer made a really good putt there to win it. So, it's great to see. Another back and forth match. We had Faber, Connor, and Garrett taking on LJ, Mallory, and Scarlett. This was really good. The boys actually got up on the girls early. But, as usual, the girls fought back and won the second match. And ran up for that third point. The boys just edged it out there on the last hole. So, they won that one 2-1. And, and last but not least, we had Skyler, Edmund, Kyle taking on Miss Emerson and Miss Olivia. This was pretty good. The boys got up early. The girls did bring it into a half in the match to get a half a point. But the boys were just a little too much late as the night ended up. So, again, we had it. The road runner at 8.5 to 3.5. So that finishes up our 13U. It was a good week, good little start. We'll be right back to talk about 17U. All right, guys, here's our little quick tip as we're now starting to get back into the seasoning stuff. Chipping's always the one thing go ahead. So there's a quick little drill I like to do. Instead of me setting up normally here to my chip, I call this as my Dustin Johnson drill. That He does this a lot. He'll actually turn his feet, point them towards his target, set with the club here on the side, and then kind of make his chip shot. What this does is kind of get you moving and rotating your body through the shot, okay? So I like to sit there and warm up. This allows me to swing the club down and through the shot and chipping it. I do this with a lot of different clubs to kind of get me kind of going when I'm starting to play a little bit more golf. And then I get back into my regular stance and try to have that same feeling through, okay? So, try the little DJ drill right here, and we'll catch y'all next week. All right, guys, let's talk about 17U. Uh, we did get it started. We almost got everybody in before Mother Nature came in and just unloaded on us. Um, so, this week will actually end in a tie since we didn't get everybody in, but it was good to see everybody out there on the golf course and sometimes for their first ever tournament. So, uh, KJ and Colin uh, did get it in. They played a singles match right there. So, um, they did get the wrench in, but for Thatcher, Wes, uh, Weston, Wyatt, Samuel, um, playing in their first term, it was a great experience for them. I will say, I believe, I do know Cindy, Kendall, and Victoria were up on their match against Catherine and Alex. Um, and I know Lucas and Damon were getting in a groove right there at the end, kind of finding their old ways from last summer. So, it was good to get them out on the golf course. Hopefully, we uh, will get it in next week. And we'll get it going so I can give y'all some more results and stuff like that and break it down a little bit better. So, that was our week. We'll be right back because you know it's spotlight time. 
All right, guys, we're here with our rapid question uh, segment. So me and G are gonna ask each other some questions here. We got about 30 seconds to do this. So, G, what's your favorite club to hit? Potter, yours. Your Potter? Yes. Uh, my seven iron. Okay. Uh, what favorite color golf ball do you like to use? Red. Red, white. Okay. What's your favorite food? Chicken fries. Chicken fries? Yeah. Okay. Hamburger. Snack. What snack do you want on the golf course? Cheetos. Cheek Oh, <laughs> yes. Protein bar. All right. What's your favorite drink? Lemonade. Lemonade. Okay. And Co a drink. Coke Zero. All right. What's your favorite hole to play? Four. Four? Hole four. Hole four. Mine's 13. Okay. Um, since you like to make fun of my music here at the club, what's your favorite song right now? At the club? At the club. The, the song, uh, the, hey, you know what I'm saying, all right? I know which one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, do you think Coach Corey's funny? Barely. Barely? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Who's your favorite athlete? Who do you like to watch? Sports person. I know some of y'all hate this, but Jose Altuve. There's nothing wrong with Jose Altuve. I know, right? but some people call him Albert. It's okay. He's good. All right. So, who's your favorite sports team to watch? Hmm. There's a ton. Like uh, Astros. Have, we're gonna go with the Astros on and this. And Aggies. And the Aggies. Are you gonna? Are, are the Aggies gonna win the national championship next year? Maybe. Maybe. 50, maybe. Fifty-fifty. Are you gonna miss Kyle Mon? Yes. Yeah. All right. That's our rapid questions. We'll see y'all next week. All right. So the spotlight time is usually where I kind of go over and give a shout out to some of the players. Up and coming player, I am going to give it to Ashlyn Clack. She's really come on strong, really good young little player. Even threw her into with some of the older girls and she held on strong. Player of the week, I am going to give it, I'm actually going to give it to Sawyer. Sawyer made a lot of good putts and some good shots there to kind of edge it on. So, very good. And legacy player, I'm actually going to give it to players. I really want to congratulate all the boys and girls who have finished up high, uh, who have finished up high school or finished up their high school year, made it on to regionals and stuff like that. So it was a great showing out of the Lufkin, Hudson, and Central teams um, moving on. So I want to give a big shout out to all of y'all. That's awesome. Keep it up. I believe Central's playing in state this week. So good luck to those boys. So as it keeps going. And as this year keeps going, we'll be giving shout outs to all of them. So that is our show this week. Catch me here in a couple of days and we'll get preview week two.